for you too. Welcome back for another video with the girl Cynthia. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for joining. If you're new, welcome. If you're not new, welcome back. Welcome, welcome, welcome. So today's video is um, it's pretty much going to be about um, a loss. Things that you've lost along the way. Um, regarding relationships, someone or something. Um, so let me read this little passage to you. I just didn't want to forget what I had in mind earlier. So I just wrote it down. Every loss is not a loss. It's actually a gain. When the pain of losing something or someone is devastating and hurts so bad, but later on you will see the lessons and what you thought was a loss. Everything works together for the good of those who love God. For many years um, of my life, wait a minute, have you subscribed to this video? Mm -mm. Have you subscribed to this channel? Can you subscribe for me, please? And thank you so much. Okay, back to what I was saying. For many years, um, you know, we all have, have our own journeys. We have our own lessons and, you know, things of that nature. Oh, my goodness. When, let me, let me see what was something that I lost that I, okay, so let me say this. Um, there was a relationship in my younger days when I was just starting out, you know, um, it was, it wasn't even my son's father. My son's father was, um, the first person I really had a real relationship with and breaking up with him or, you know, that wasn't even a loss for me. It didn't hurt. I should say I was dating a guy and I was really young. I was maybe 18. My son was maybe two then. I was in love with him and he was in love with me. We cared for each other deeply. We spent every waking moment together. You know, this was new to me. This was new to him. This was new to us. He treated my son like with respect. And in my eyes, that was, that was almost everything to me. But when we broke up, I was devastated because this guy's mom she loved me the family the family just loved me so much and there was such a big connection even his sister loved me there are not too many relationships whether you're young or old where the sister accepts you i she did she loved me and um our sons happen to be the same age so she and i we share so much in common you know and i, I could truly appreciate that so, yeah, when we broke up, I was hurt. I was devastated. I was. Um, To lose somebody that you see every day, that you spend almost every day with, yeah, I was hurt. So, how did I handle that? I handled that in a way I didn't, I didn't, um become promiscuous. Now that's one thing that I, I never was. Even though I had my son at 16, I was never promiscuous. I just dated a guy and, you know, we were in a relationship and we had a baby together. So that's how that happened. You know, it wasn't that I was with this one one week and then one person another, you know, week um, or with most. That's not how that happened. Um, so Again, I wasn't promiscuous, but when I lost the relationship with the guy, yeah, it hurt. So as time progressed, um, you know, I got over it, you know, I moved on. And then the next relationship, you know, it happened and then so on and so forth. But the point that I'm trying to make is when you lose something, um, then you think it's a loss because you don't, you don't really know any better. You know, we all learn differently. We all have our own journeys. Um, each, especially at my age right now, I can look back on every relationship that I was in. And believe it or not, each and every one of them taught me something, including my marriage. Everyone, including the one that I just got out of, and we'll talk about that a little later. And I did in a prior video. But, you know, as time progresses, you know, I will revisit some of those um, videos to, you know, bring up points again. Um, but, yeah, every every loss is not a true loss. 
losses are gains. Lord knows it may not feel like that in the way it happens or how it happens. But it's, it's, it's something good that comes out of it. Like in one of my prior videos, I stated that this last relationship I was in, oh, it took a lot out of me. It took a lot out of me because I hadn't dated in so long because I pretty much was exhausted of trying to have a relationship with men that sometimes didn't know how. I respect the man that don't really know how to have a relationship versus the ones that do and try to, you know, pull wool, pull wool over your eyes. So, you know, it was, it was a plethora of things like as far as the relationship and it not working out and I just got exhausted. I just got tired. So I decided to give God my time, all of my time. I decided to learn how to be with him on a daily basis and go to him for what I need and, you know, more than I have in my past. And, um, I did just that, you know, um, oftentimes that, you know, God wants you to be alone and alone with him. Because when you go putting people first ahead of him, he's not pleased with that. And he's going to bring you right on back to reality. Either you're going to do it or he's going to do it. Trust me. Trust me. Ask me how I know. Because it's happened to me. And it, and it wasn't that I did it intentionally. It wasn't that. But when you start doing or putting more effort into other things versus him, especially when you pray to him every day and you are believing in him for something and he's been your provider for as long as you've known him and you know this, no, he's not going to appreciate that and he will not have that. So I have learned and I am learning that you can't put anybody or anything before God, even when you don't think that you are, you, you think that this extra time that you're spending over here, it's okay. And you haven't even said, thank you, God, for this day. Or thank you, God, for another day. You haven't spent any time with him. Well, he wants to, he wants the relationship with you first. We have to have a relationship with him. Ask me how I know. Because I had to get here. I didn't always, I always believed in him. I'm just learning more who he is and how he is. So that is my that is my thing. My losses, they weren't true losses. And yeah, it hurt. And once again, it hurt. It hurt like, <clears throat> hurt like I don't know what. It took me through a lot. Weight loss. Couldn't eat. You know those things that you do when there's a breakup in the relationship? Well, this last relationship, I don't think I hurt that much in, in my divorce, in my marriage. It's because I thought that this was it. I thought that this was it. In in um when you when you're dealing with people or you're dealing with somebody, you know, it's always going to be that um that first time happiness or that first time pleasure or that those butterflies, though that excitement when you hear from somebody you're dating or a new thing, whether it's a car, it could be a home. It could be uh, pretty much anything, but you cannot put those things before the father. You cannot, because like I said, he will quickly bring it on back and show you that I will not have any more or anyone else before me. I will not have anything before me. I don't know everything about the Bible. I don't even know half of what's in the Bible. But I've learned a lot through my journey, through experiences. People learn differently. People learn from the Bible. They are strictly Bible people. I wouldn't. I don't want to call them Bible thumpers. They study the Bible a lot. I read it, but I go through experiences that are in the Bible, and I acknowledge them, and I know them because that's what it is. Um, everything is not a loss. So what I'm trying to say is, be careful in how you put somebody else at the top. Be careful how you put another thing at the top. 
be careful about how you um as a whole collectively put something first in your life no i'm not a holy roller i'm not a bible thumper but i do know that you have to put god in everything you do first and the last and in between you want to ask me how i know because that wasn't that's 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 been my journey that's been my journey do you have a relationship with him some people think that you have to have a perfect relationship with god in order to have one that is not true ask me how i know because i thought the same thing i had i thought i had to dot all my i's and cross my t's when i talk to him or when i write to him or when i you know write in my journal and i'm and i'm talking to him because sometimes i write letters to god i thought i had to be perfect and that is so far from the truth he wants you just like you are just like i'm talking to you talking to you now this is how i talk to him this is how I talk to him. And I used to have a problem with um, talking to him about certain things. And I'm like, how in the world can you not talk to him? And he knows everything about you. He knows everything about you. He knows what you're going to say before you say it. He knows what you're thinking. So why not talk to him about it? It takes practice. It takes practice. And I'm going to tell you today, it is 1258 a.m. in the morning i wouldn't want to talk to nobody else before i talk to him if there's anything that i'm going through whether it's good bad ugly i want to i want to talk to him about it if i'm having a good day you know i, I want to tell him i can't wait to have time with him to tell him what a good day i had or if it's been a not so good day i want to talk to him about it because he's the only thing that can do anything about my good days or my bad days or my in-between days. He's the only one. So again, everything is not a loss. Um, the thing about learning how to maneuver through those losses is that be mindful of the things that happen in the thing that you were in. And for me, it's like um, my relationships hasn't always been good, you know, and and I, 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 even my marriage, my marriage started off perfect in a nutshell. Um, everything was good, but when those wheels got to turning, it was, it was daunting. It was terrifying. I was married to my husband for 10 years. We were together, um, 12, 13 years. And, um, I know now marriage is something that you have to work at every day. So let me be clear about this as well. Um, if you're in a relationship with somebody, whether it's a friendship, um, if you're dating someone, that thing has to be worked on every day. Every day. Every single day you have to work on it. You have to want it. Just like, this, just like a relationship with God, you have to want it. You can't want it one day and then the next day you don't want it. You're, you're warm one minute, you're, you're medium one minute, and then you're hot one minute, and then you turn cold. It doesn't work that way. And as time progresses, you know, you will learn those things just like I did. And I'm so grateful. You just don't know. This is not, yeah, I'm a new YouTuber. This is just not a thing for me as far as doing YouTube. I want to share with people everything that I have learned so that I, I can help somebody. So I can help somebody through a thing that they've gone through or something that they're going through because I don't care what anybody says. I know I feel like this um, some time ago. You ever gone through things and it felt like you was the only one who was going through it? That was me. That was your girl. Because that's how bad it felt. That's how much it hurt. I'm like, there's no way possible that anybody else could be going through what I'm going through right now. Or there's nobody that's hurting like I'm hurting right now. There's just no way. But as life progressed, I knew that, I found out that everybody goes through stuff. We might go through it differently, but we go through stuff. 
We learn differently, but we go through stuff. And as we learn, we're supposed to share with others. Um, however, whichever way you decide to share it. Oh, goodness. It took me. This YouTube channel. It took me. Oh, maybe a good five years to even start this YouTube channel. Because I, I felt like nobody's going to want to hear what I got to say. Nobody's going to watch this channel or nobody is really going to subscribe. I'm not going to gain viewers. I'm not going to, I'm not going to, um, go up the ladder with it, you know, but I wouldn't know until I tried it. I always ask, I would, even the guy I dated last because we used to have so much fun together. I was like, I would always ask him to do YouTube with me. And he would always pretty much say no because he felt like, I guess he felt like he was shy to the camera. Just like my daughter, she was the same way. She she didn't want to do it with me. And, you know, one day I just, you know, something just hit my spirit and, and was like, why do you have to have anybody to start a YouTube channel with you? You don't have to have anybody to start that with you. You, you can do it on your own. And so that's what I did. When I first started, I was so hyped up about it and I posted my first few videos and I talked about this in a prior video. Um, I started to look to see had anybody viewed my videos or had anybody subscribed. And when I didn't see those numbers move, I, I started to get discouraged. So I went and deleted some of my videos. I was like, well, maybe this ain't for me. Time progressed, time progressed. And I felt so bad because I deleted my videos. Um, not thinking that, again, everything takes time. Everything takes time. And um, I heard one young lady um, earlier say um, she, st she started a new um, YouTube channel too. She said she was afraid of how people would go to her comment section and comment. Because, of course, we know how people comment and how mean people can be. Well, guess what? If it happens, it happens. Okay. I'm not going to stop my YouTube video. I mean, my YouTube channel because um, people go to the comment section and say certain things. You know, I'm not going to do that. If this is not a place for you to want to um, grow with me and I grow with you, then it's okay. Just don't come here um, trying to bash somebody or bash me for being a messenger or just caring enough to put myself out there. Let me tell you something. This is not, this, me putting myself out here being vulnerable, oh, it's not easy. It's easier now. It's easier now, just like the other night. I'm laying in bed and I was feeling some kind of way and I needed to get that off my chest. Well, I was in the bed. I looked like who done it and where did they do it and how did it get there? Any other time, I would have never gotten on anything and recorded anything with my hair not done. I don't even know if I had on earrings. I know I didn't have on makeup because I was in the bed. Um, I didn't do I didn't do anything. I didn't do my brows. I didn't do nothing. I just grabbed my phone and started recording. And I'm like, okay, this is me being vulnerable. You know what I'm saying to myself? If I can't be vulnerable on my YouTube channel with my people, who can I be vulnerable around? Who can I do this with? You know, God didn't ask me to get up and put on some clothes and put on makeup to share how I was feeling in that moment. Somebody may have needed that information in that moment. So, so please don't care about what I look like in that video or any other videos. You might get another one like that. I don't know, but we'll see. You know, I'm just, I'm just stating facts. You know, um, everybody got something to share. Everybody got something to bring to the table. Everybody is different. And that is why God created us the way that we are, because we are all different. Even twins are different. Triplets are different. Yeah, they're born on the same day, maybe at different times, but everybody is different. Everybody go through, go through things differently. And I sometimes wish that people would realize that. Stop bashing people. Stop trying to hurt people. 
you know, for whatever, for whatever reason, Lord knows there's no need for it. There's no need for it. So again, um, I hope that my, you know, I, I pray that my channel grows and I hope that people would, um, you know, tune in and learn from me just like I can learn from, learn from you all. I, I got, you know, people on YouTube that I watch some of my favorites, which is another thing that inspired me to start this, um, this YouTube channel because, you know, I'm like, okay, they make it look so easy. I thought I had to be perfect. I thought I had to stand in line like a, uh, like a, like an army, um, sergeant. I thought I had to, I don't know. I just thought I had to be so perfect in doing it. And that's so far from the truth. So even you watching, if you want to start a YouTube channel, you do it. That is, that is your prerogative. That is, that is your thing. Make it your thing. Everybody had to start somewhere on, on, on the YouTube thing. Um, when I first started to try to record a video, I was like, oh my God, I sound so stoic. I sound, um, I didn't sound rehearsed. I just sounded so, oh wait, like a school teacher or I didn't, I don't think I came out preaching because I don't ever want to do that. I'm just passionate about what I say, but yeah, it was, it started off a little difficult, but when I deleted those first videos and, and I felt like I got the feel of, of, of getting behind this camera or behind this phone, it was a little better when I got back on to record. So mind you what I said a few minutes ago when I started started this um, video, I said every loss is not a loss. Because when I deleted those videos, I just knew I had lost. I gave up on what I had started and I wanted to do it from my heart. That Starting a YouTube channel is truly in my heart. And I felt so bad. But believe you me, when I started it back, well, I was good to go. I was good with recording. I didn't care what I looked like. I won't try to look good for nobody. There are times when I'm going to be on here looking good, but I didn't care. But, but that time that I thought I had lost, oh Lord, it did so much for me on the inside. I was more confident about doing this YouTube um, channel. It was a game. And guess what? Um, um, this is still new to me. And if you haven't subscribed to this, youtube channel do so right now please and thank you you'll thank me later that's all i gotta say yeah so every loss is not a loss i didn't realize until i was saying what i was saying about when i deleted the videos it was actually a gain for me and it was because today i'm so confident about just getting on here and saying what i gotta say saying what i need to say you know that was truly my game. So I encourage you, if you're trying to do something, whether it's a YouTube um, channel, whether it's, um, I don't know, anything that you're passionate about, I'm working on that myself. This was just one of them, but I have many of things that I'm passionate about and I have yet to start them. This was the biggest one and I did it. So congratulations to me. Congratulations to me. So I'm going to end this video and I'm going to get ready for bed. But thank you so much for taking the time to listen to me. I, I truly appreciate it. Um, like this video. Share this video. Comment down below to this video. Talk to me because I want to talk to you. Okay. You have a good night. If it's night for you, have a good day if it's day for you, for, for wherever you are. And I will talk to you soon in the next video. I love you guys that are here, that are coming. Um, and I will talk to you later. Bye-bye.